This is Martin and uh, in this video I will be showing how to get to the Riz Malag portal. Uh, we will be starting in uh, Evening Star Caverns. This assumes that you have completed the Underdark chain and that you have found the first portal uh, while running through the King's Forest and then finding the Underdark that way. So once you've found that first portal, then you run the Underdark chain all the way through the portal opens. And from there, you'll be able to do this uh, particular method in order to find the uh, Riz Malag portal. And that will allow you to uh, easily get back and forth uh, to the Belly of the Beast quest. And so let's get started. And we will be taking this rightmost portal here, going into Shindrelin. Once we are in Shindrelin, uh, we will be taking a slight left and just some preventive buffs to help us move along. So basically what we're doing is reverse engineering our first run and we're going back to that portal so that we can get to the new portal. Once we get to the other side here, there will be a uh, few creatures that we need to take care of. Uh, so let's give that implosion a second. Alright, let's go take care of these. Yeah, gotta love turning things into frogs. So what we're gonna do is uh, jump over to this path here and then we're gonna start our run. Now you don't need abundant leap or leap of faith, uh, but feather fall is a good idea. I'm going to use my leap of faith just because I have it. And as I stated below, I'm going to do the high method, which means I have to go over here. Now what happens when people run the high method is they run into two earth elementals that uh, just will not move, at least so they think. So you end up, what you ha end up doing is you run into that one and then you come over here all excited that you found the path. Now they won't go. Uh, it's like, hey, get out of my way, move, get up and fight, you know, do something. And then most people that, that have the abundant leap or leap of faith, uh, they just come over here and then they go across. And once you get across, they activate. Well... I was making a cartoon about that, and while making the cartoon, I discovered that we're doing it wrong. We're missing, you know, a couple of Earth Ellies here. There's one cousin down, and if you give it a moment, there'll be another decide to show up. 
there he is. He's one of those timer ones. Take him out. Uh oh. Now they're ready to throw down. So let's go over here and take care of them. So you don't have to worry about not being able to get past them anymore. Open sesame. And as we continue our trek, we need to go down there. So again, feather fall pretty much a must. There's going to be a few baddies along the way. I will try to keep this as brief as possible by not engaging, but if they knock me down, I won't have much of a choice. there and here we go to the portal Now to use this portal in the future, you have to actually go through it. You want to go to Evening Star Caverns. And once you get back to Evening Star Caverns, then you can go back over to this far right one. And you should have the Riz Malag. And we can go back. Take a sharp right, and this will take you to the belly of the beast. Frog still hopping around. <laughs> And here we are. That is the run. That is how to deal with the two earth elementals that are stubborn and don't want to move. How to get to the portal and how to come back and find Belly of the Beast. I hope this has been helpful. And have a DDO-ish day. Thank you.